Hi friends, today I am participating in a challenge that's been hosted by our girl Kimberly over at Diva Designing on a Dime. Now this challenge is called the Best Thing Ever Thrifted Challenge. Kimberly asked that we share at least six things that we've thrifted and one of them that we've DIY. So you guys know when I go thrifted, I mainly look for entertaining pieces. And every now and then, I might come across a diamond in the rough. So, of course, you would expect that my favorite items are all items for entertaining. And that is true. Beginning with this beautiful coffee carafe here. Now, this carafe was found at the Salvation Army. And I just love the beautiful glass and the sterling silver accents. Now, what you may remember is I only found the carafe part of this and I was gifted the bottom portion by our girl, Miss Mesa. She's one of my Instagram friends and she saw it and she remembered I said that I would be looking for the bottom. She found it and she gifted it to me. This is one of my all time favorite pieces. And the fact that it is a Gottinger piece that I paid $2.99 for that is worth over $65. Now, my next item here is also from Gottinger. I paid $5 for this piece, guys, and it retails for $80. It is a, it's a sterling silver ice bucket. I love the finial on the top, and it is in perfect condition. I cleaned her up. It's time for her to have another cleaning, but she is absolutely beautiful, guys. So, of course, this had to be another one of my favorite entertaining pieces. Now, these plates here are mingling plates. I originally saw them at Pier 1 and I being myself was waiting for them to go on sale and I waited until they were a dollar and 98 cents but of course your girl is always trying to get a deal and I missed out I thought that no one else knew what these were for and so I wanted them when they hit a dollar did not get them but I found these beauties here at my Goodwill and I got a set of 12 for $2.99. Now, they're not the same white or porcelain that my ones from Pier 1 were, but these are just as nice and they look very elegant regardless of what I pair them with. Now, another deal that I found with these beautiful cocktail appetite appetizer type plates and I purchased a set of 12 of these they're really heavy and they are beautiful when they're set up in a buffet I got this also from my local Salvation Army and I think I paid three dollars for those also You know, you can never have too many plates, and especially when they're glass and they have a, a various shapes, you, you can't go wrong. They're always great to have when entertaining. Now, this four-tier stand here, if you remember, when I found this one, I screamed. It was all compact, and I really couldn't tell exactly what it was, but I knew that it was spectacular. I was so excited when I got into my car and I began to put it together. I literally burst out in a screech. This is a four-tier serving um, stand from Goddager, guys. This thing retails for $150, but your girl got it for $9.00. I had to have her. I did not care what it was. I knew that I wanted it. And when I saw that Gottinger sticker at the bottom, I knew that I had hit the jackpot. This stand is absolutely beautiful. If I would luck up on another one, my world will be like, I would just be complete. And so this is one of my favorite entertaining pieces. And it, it is just it is just one of the ones that I could not have left behind. So 
with all of these entertaining pieces, of course I had to have a place to store them. And this isn't a thrifted item. It is actually an item that was at a yard sale. I told you my mom's neighbor was getting rid of a lot of things and I was looking at this exact buffet at Rooms to Go and it was $299. Your girl got this for $35. It is beautiful. They had a little nicks and scratches on it, but it's in the back and no one could see it. Perfect for me. And so, you know, the other item had to also be another gift item. It wasn't thrifted, but this was gifted to me. I shared this um, buffet here with you and it was something that was near and dear to me from one of my friends and how I updated it I changed the color because it was a deep like mahogany cherry type wood I changed it to this black color and I put on new knobs the knobs were purchased at TJ Maxx and I made it up to date and I think it really fits my style and what I was going for in my dining room area so another place for me me to store all of my toys so guys this is all of the things that I think that are my best thrifted items ever I want to thank our girl Kimberly for putting out this open tag this open challenge I hope I met the challenge lady and thank you guys for watching this video I'm gonna go ahead and end this video but before I go you know what I always say the next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.